there's not enough snap in his punches for me at this halfway stage. Turning into a hard fight for Thaxton. Every time he lands, of course, the effect of it is accentuated by the crowd who roar his every success. He had a better round there. There's the corner. Graham Everett. Dominic Ingle leaning over the ropes. Looking after any, domi any damage to his face. And Graham Everett whispering instructions. I know he's tagging you for the first half a minute, Daniel. But he's running, he's dummy in you, then he's running in. And when he's running in, you're tucking up and you're That's how Duke's got it right now. John, 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 that fifth round. Your jab. Could be that went the other way, maybe. And that would make it closer. Working away to that damaged mouth there, you see. It's cut inside the lip. Nasty. Sixth round was an interesting one. Not a lot between it again. This is where the scorers. The judges at ringside could become absolutely crucial. How do they view it? Speed, accuracy of Mazash, or the greater power of Thaxton as he walks his man down. It's a good shot from Thaxton, good left hand. It's frustrating for Thaxton, he can taste the world title opportunity that may lie in wait for him after this fight, but he can't overlook this man. more likely doesn't he with those big punches sooner or later even now although Mazash is having his share of success you just get the feeling maybe that there's a big Thaxton punch gonna come and really scramble him. Yeah, I've got Thaxton well ahead in this fight. Just can't afford to take sloppy punches off of Mazash could open up a cut, the desperation will set in. He's going to keep his wits about him. Switch to orthodox now, leading off with the left hand. The pace has dropped from Thaxon, I, I don't like it. His pace has dropped alarmingly. Aim to throw that overhand right, and Mazar saw it coming. And said, no, you've not hurt me this time. Thaxton's face not marking up any more badly at the moment. There's just that damage around the left eye. Ash with that damaged bottom lip and his mouth hanging open. It's proving to be an awkward evening for John Thaxton. This that's a good right hand though as Mazash came in close. Two of them landed almost simultaneously. Interesting. Thaxton is not finding it particularly easy. Well, you've heard what me and Duke are making of it. See what Barry's thinking. Barry, how have you got it now? Yeah, guys, I, I have uh, I have Thaxton a couple of rounds ahead, but he's beginning to tire. Him, and uh, Duke pointed out there that he was uh, he was looking. He like dropped a couple of gears in the middle of that round, which was uh, pretty obvious near the end of the round. Maybe he's just taking a breather. Maybe he's just taking a round off and then started playing the pressure again with this guy. But. It's uh, it's not an easy fight. We did see it was going to be awkward. This guy's a mover. He's uh, he gets in and out of distance. He's very hard to hit clean. 
and Thatcher just got to keep his patience and keep chopping away at him and start lifting his shots as opposed to bringing him around the side he should be lifting his shots off the jab and he'd have a better chance but I think he'll finally get to him we've had seven rounds and we now move to the eighth John Thaxton defending his European title Jono in the black and yellow shorts against the 30 year old Parisian Anthony Mazash I think he might be given the freedom of cliche if he wins this one but there's more urgency behind behind his work now Thaxton for me keep your punches up to keep coming forward Thaxton keep working away keep looking for the openings Thaxton knows all about going the 12 round distance He's starting to look increasingly as though he might have to do so again Trying to walk Mazash down, find the big shot. He doesn't have to give Mazash any more confidence than he already has. Big deep there, big deep breath from Mazash. Constant switching by Thaxton from right to left hand. He's trying to confuse Mazas, trying to set him out of his stride. But I wonder how the French camp are reading this now. Are they thinking their man's doing enough? Is he doing enough to maybe nick this one? They always say that when you go to an opponent's territory, you've got to do more than just pinch a title, you've got to really win it. Well, he'll have to go some to win this. Well, we'll hear from his manager between rounds and see how they are making it go at this stage. Gabriel Clark's got his microphone poised. Bernard Roos in that rather splendid Statson. Paxton taking punches now. He he's taking into, shots, he's he just walking into, into a really solid left-hand lead. Walked into it. He looks tired, Johnny. He looks... I mean, that, that punch should never have caught him. The right hand over the top should never have caught him. He's digging in now and he needs to. Is he going to unravel Thaxton? Well, Thaxton's got the heart of a champion, but he's taking punches aimlessly now in this, at the end of this round. He's really struggling at this stage, I think, suddenly. Like a, like a marathon runner. Has he hit the wall? Good round for Mazash. Thaxton started well. Then Mazash in the last few seconds really dominated. Let's go to Gabriel and see how their corner are now reading it. Gabriel, it's all yours. Yeah, Bernard Roos, uh, you're, you're, you're getting cheered up in this uh, French corner now, aren't you? Just two points behind we have it now. Uh, very good. I would say I had only I had three for the English. I would say two is very fair. And, but it's very sad because, in fact, the two, that's the one we lost in the first round. And we lost exactly on what we know. We knew that we had to avoid because Jonathan, in fact, is a south ball, but his power is on the right hand. And we, we, we said that a lot of times, and that's really a shame. Now, we talked before the fight about this being the key part for your guys psychologically. Has your man got the mental now, the mental strength to turn this around? I, I, I think so, honestly. I'm, I was looking at his eyes, and it seems he has to be really focused because normally at the, this time of the fight, that's where he's losing the focus, but he seems really he's in the match. He knows that he has a chance. Thank you, Bernard. Thank you. Back to John. Zash has started this round off really quickly. Just sensed at the end of that last round, he was just getting through quite cleanly to Thaxton. Thaxton's got to find a way to turn this back into his favour. I've still got Thaxton in quite a comfortable lead. 